Sports, and we are inside of the very spacious Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Today, we've got a compelling AFC matchup for you, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. They go to the ground again with Taylor. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And this is going to be a coach first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And that is incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defender's minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And yeah, he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 30 yards. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Adafe Owe so quick, and he gets to him there behind the line. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now a handoff. Taylor with it. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Now a give to Taylor. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. On the handoff, Taylor. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, oh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now from Indianapolis with the homestanding Colts in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Out of the gun is Minshew. He'll check this one down to Taylor. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape 
or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved just as you said they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game but they must like the matchups they're getting and now this is going to be close the defense says they stopped him and they did the Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. So give him two yards there on the completion. And it's second down. Here's Jackson. Yet again, targeting and finding Mark Andrews. And they'll get him down up past the 15. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So the delay of game penalty backs him up. It's now second and seven. They run once more with Taylor. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Looking to throw it. Minshew. Got a man. It's Pittman. And he throws it in for the Colts touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Colts post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. They'll try and throw for it. And that is going to be caught. And it moves the lead to 8-0. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. First down now, but that clock rolling. Up the middle, it's Hill. And out of bounds right around the 20. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Now Jackson. He'll get this to Flowers, left side. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Throwing is Jackson. Flushed out right. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. 
And that will get out of bounds. Lucky there. They keep possession inside the five. Thankfully for the offensive fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one. And the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession. Still have an opportunity to put points on the board. going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Jackson now. Got a man. It's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Nelson Aguilar. A five-yard touchdown. And the Ravens get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. And he'll get in to tie this game at eight. Well, it's definitely early enough here. They didn't need to go for two. They didn't have to go for two, but hey, they did. We're all tied at eight. Is this one of those anything you can do, I can <laughs> match? <laughs> because that's exactly what we got on that one. Neither one of these teams wants to give any ground, do they? So 8-8, eight, eight, our score now as he'll send this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And now off to the races, down the right side. One man to beat, and he will score. Touchdown, Colts. Matt Gay on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make our score 15-8. to eight. Well, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And with a clock reading zeros, he is into the end zone. What an exclamation mark to the end of this second quarter. Indeed. Indeed. Well, my education continues in this game. I've got to tell you because there's not an analyst in the world that would have said, pass up the field goal here, go for it, and expect for it to be successful, and it was. I mean, they're playing this one just like a video game. <laughs> Especially for the final play of the first half, they have the guts to do that. But I guess what we say, the end will justify the means, right? No doubt about it. For you and me, we live, we learn. So we hit halftime here in Indianapolis with the Colts on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Returning at Justice Hill. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. 
And we both. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Colts TD. So the Colts now bringing the offense back onto the field as they'll go for two. They'll look to throw, and he's got it. So the try for two successful, and that bumps their lead up even further. So they try to make it a two-score game with a conversion. It pays off. And they've looked at the situation, figured it out well. A two-score game in this situation, they've got to feel much better about where they are. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This taken in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play and they can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And Jackson throwing once more. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end Andrews. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Jackson on first down. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Zaire Franklin. 